As long as there is Sub-Zero, your ice cream's flavor will never flounder. Leftovers will be a little more respected. And use-by dates, a little less so. Bottles will be babied. Swiss chard will never get a neutral reaction. As long as there is Sub-Zero, food will have a delicious future. See Sub-Zero, the food preservation specialist, at This Kitchen Specialist. The town uh, used to be bigger, uh, about 16,000 in 1960. Uh, we were an industrial town uh, based totally on industry, not a lot of farming or rural issues. Uh, over the years, of course, industry has changed and we've lost some local industry. We've had some downturns. Um, we're starting to rebound. Um, we're working on our infrastructure, which is important. Uh, one of the big assets for the city is the riverfront. We are now focusing on it, and one of the focal points is the depot. So many people I run into in Keokuk have personal stories about meeting someone down here, especially the older generation, after um, coming back from the war or uh, you know, coming back for, from a honeymoon, whatever special thing. It's, it's been a major community space in a small town, uh, and to be designed by one of the highest profile American architectural firms uh, of Burnham and Root was um, really a, a feather in their cap for a small town to be able to attract a firm like that. Root was this fabulous colorist. He really loved red, rich, earthy colors. And he dies in, just a few months before this depot is finished. So it was one of the very last commissions that came out of the office that Root had uh, a hand in. After Root dies, the World's Fair comes to Chicago, 1893, the White City, everything shifts. The whole country shifts in the way it treats large civic buildings and their architecture, and that's why this building is so important. And they ran the last passenger train, April the 9th of 1967. That was the start of the demise of the depot. Uh, and I hated to see it. I hated to see him lose the trains. And I hated to see the depot close because I knew from there on it was going to be set there and deteriorate. I'd love to see it opened again. <laughs> Well, the award from the Sub-Zero and Dwell Historic Preservation uh, grant could have gone to other buildings in Keokuk, but I really can't think of one that's more deserving than the Keokuk Union Depot, just because of the public sentiment. I came to Keokuk in 1958. I was in the service. I was in Coast Guard. And I've seen several depots, depots uh, dismantled, uh, and this has always had a, a spot in my heart. So it, it's only right that we volunteer and see if we can't save it. We couldn't do it without all of the sweat equity, and it's just amazing how people have come forward, whether it's saying, oh yes, I've got a few hours to do that project, or here is a check for $100 or $10,000. It's just amazing the response that we've had from the community. Brian Gruntmeyer, a local volunteer, railroad man. Give a little blood, sweat, and tears to bring it all back. It's a beautiful building. And, uh, can't stand to see it go to waste.